Prepare for battle. Alrighty then. We have Wolf Snipe versus Seeky Five, right now four, on three, Blood Run, two, and I've forgotten to do my one, intro. But here we go without the intro anyway. So Wolf Snipe's gonna spawn that Mega, and he's gonna get taken down quite quickly by Seeky there, who's able to use the next that he picked up and do a quick rush towards the Mega. Wolf Snipe there, gonna be able to get the armor though, and do a nice bit of damage. That was completely out of blue. So now make some good moves. I know that Seeky is fairly competent on this map, but Wolf Snipe also certainly not half bad. And again, this game I'm going to be using the pick map. I didn't mention it last game, and you might not even be watching these in order. But uh, yeah, pick map is on because it saves me a hell of a lot of storage space, which is good for me need to upload it and don't have to spend two hours rendering everything out. So we're coming up to these second items here, or these third items actually. No, second. Third? Yeah, third. Yeah. Just confused myself there. Nice little trick to explode the rocket right in your face so that you take the damage. You can also just point at your feet. But that's also a nice trick. Gets you up there for sure, close to the wall, not pulling you away. Whereas you can miss it with the blaster and you can also fly right off the wall, right into your opponent. As you see there, it flies out of the way. You can get some right good speed with the uh, with the Cryolink, honestly. It's used a lot in defrag. And Wilson using its pretty good effects this game. But he is going to go two frags down quite early on. Unable to really establish any sort of map control. He's got some of item control. I don't think Seeky really has too much item control for Wolf Snipe to contend with right now. But it's just this positioning. Seeky seems to have a better idea of where Wolf Snipe is, a better control. Certainly of the items, uh, not the items, the weapons. Wolf Snipe missing a few key weapons every once in a while and Seeky just taking advantage of the fact that Wolf Snipe can't really push too hard. That was a very nice move. That was very, very good. So now Wolf Snipe is waiting around. He grabs the item, grabs that mega armor, and he's going to get out try and just survive here I think. Oh no, he's going to push in actually. Not too hard. And a very nice move around the back to try and take it. Missing a few shots here. I think pings are still evil. Yeah, still even ping. And CK just uh, probably quite low here but not able to get anywhere because he knows that if he goes anywhere Wolf Snap's going to know exactly where to push. Messes up that jump and that's going to cost him a frag. And there you go. He knows it's cost him that frag. And he knows he's got to try a little bit harder next time. Just can't seem to land those all important rail shots. Falling back a little bit. This map is not the best map for falling back on. There's not too many you can generally just end up getting tied upon yourself and ending up on your opponent anyway. It's quite easy to cut your opponent off, work out where they're going. So this map really does boost Seeky's playstyle as quite an aggressive player. Uh, and not Wolf Snipes of a very tactical, slow pace, plus back. Nice. Plays like that. Where he really just works out where you are, goes fast alongside you rather than fast into you. And takes control of the map that way. Yeah. He's by no means a bad player on this map though. So, gonna miss that jump again. It possibly did actually help him by faking out CP there. Allows him to grab the armor, get out of the way a little bit, and go back to refuel just a touch. Interesting missed 
jump there. See, he's now going to know where he is by that little bit of damage. I think he may have even seen him. Knowing where to position, I've got to find it. The Mega coming up just now. I think I might have just seen it pop. And there it is. Wolf Snipe just waiting off the spawn to hear it. Nice little jump there, but he's got no items. He's got no armor. He's got no weapons. And now he may even just kill himself. Good bit of movement to get out, but the grenade going to take him down on the exit. So we're halfway through this game, and Wolf Snipe quite a lot behind, actually. Not in the best of shape. He's 1 to 6. It's still doable, still doable. We're only just past the five minute mark, so of course, the faster game game to decrease in pace and Wolf Snipe might be able to take it. But at the minute, it just looks like Seeky's got absolute control of this map and that he's able to play really well. So we might be able to see some good out of control play here and see how to, or possibly even how not to play, out of control. But right now, we're seeing a pretty good example of how to play out of control. You've got to not take these fights. As you can see, Wolfstone's not directly taking these fights. Goes off for the items, trying to keep it in his head at all times. Trying to catch his opponent off while his opponent's trying to push into him. He's trying to push, let his opponent push, get into a good position around a corner and have Seeky come to him. When Seeky pops around that corner, he instantly gets off a nice bit of damage. He is able to knock Seeky's aim off, get that little bit of damage, and start pulling in that position. So now we might be able to see Wolf Snipe actually pull this game back from what looks like the brink of disaster. Doing a very, very good think about where he is. Just looking for the opportunities to strike. But Seeky's not really giving it to him. I think he's going to do a little bit of damage to himself to take this item. Perhaps actually... I think this is probably... Yeah, fucking yarding. Probably the better idea was to do that. So he can get that item later. If he was to take a lot of damage in that fight, it could have saved his life. He's now going to go into this fight, both players taking the major items at about the same time, and Wolf Snipe is going to pick up one more kill. Do a beautiful amount of damage. That was really good play from Wolf Snipe right there. Incredibly impressive from the young pole. I think we're now looking at a comeback with two minutes left to go. Possible overtime. But I'm not sure. I'm not going to call it with two minutes left to go, obviously. Bit of a malfunction of the jump there. He's been hitting that pretty consistently this game. Interesting to miss it now. Clearly just in a bit more of a high pressure situation. There's a lot more damage than he needed to right there. He has lost a lot of armour and he's not quite connecting any of these shots. Needs to get in. With some more damage. Finds the 50. Able to do a lot of damage with that uh, with that electro spam. And he's found Seeky. He knows where he's spawned. He knows where he's going to be. Nice shot there. Here's the item he's taken. He's got to get in get some damage out. It's going to be a close one. That's for damn sure. We've got a minute and 13 left on the clock. We've got Seeky. He's got the high ground, but he pushes down. If Seeky pushes through, and he really shouldn't. Seeky playing quite an aggressive game right now, considering the position he's in. Does what Wolf Snipe did to him earlier, and he's just caught it back up. If he spawns there now, Wolf Snipe just spamming off the spawns. You can hit through walls in this game with the explosives. So Wolf Snipe now, he knows that Seeky can't have much more health. He's tied it up with 37 seconds left to go. This could be an extremely close game. This is almost certainly going to overtime. But I can see Wolf Snipe. I can't see Seeky taking it outside of overtime. Honestly, at this point in the game, I can't see Seeky taking it. Wolf Snipe is going to be playing too tactically. He's just going to be keeping his position, keeping his cool. And the Mega Armor's up now. 
Seven seconds left to go. A risky jump, but I think Wolf Snipe's actually going to take both the major items. This has got to go into overtime unless Wolf Snipe gets it right now. He misses that jump. It's going into overtime. Two minutes of overtime added. Seven to seven the scoreline right now. And Wolf Snipe has a bit of an advantage. He knows what the timing is. He knows what the map is sort of playing out like. You've got that rotation ability between the two items. And now he's got a one frag advantage and a little bit of stack advantage. I think Seeky did just take that mega right there. If we see this come up, he certainly did. Might actually still be up. I think the mega might be behind the uh, armor here. I'm not too sure. Massive 117 damage right there. Wolf Snipe pushes up. Gets in. Beautiful timing on that item. Absolutely impeccable. And now he's just got to defend for a minute. He's got to try and defend. Do as much damage as he can. You see him spamming down. He knows if Seeky's in there, he gets the item. But he's got to, he can do more damage than that item's worth. Or possibly even get a lucky and do the damage before Seeky manages to quite pick up the item, which would probably kill him at this point. So Wolf Snipe, he's got 40 seconds to defend this one frag lead. Doesn't want to be pushing in there, but he gets away with it. Very, very careful that if he pulled out, he could have been in an even worse position. I've seen these jumps though, but very nicely recalculated after missing those jumps he was able to make a good play off of them and uh, get away get to a different position make a different angle and that is the mark of a master of this game so an absolutely insane comeback right now oh it could all go to a second overtime hold on better not call it before it's over and there we go 12 minutes on the clock 8 to 7 the scoreline, an insane 6 to 1 comeback from Wolf Snipe. And that'll do ya. Thanks for watching. GG.